Hey guys, uh, today we are starting a new series on building a WordPress theme with uh, Tailwind CSS and underscores. Uh, if you want to skip to the project setup, that'll be in the next video. This video will just be a uh, quick introduction to um, the prerequisites, uh, what you do and don't need to know, um, and a brief introduction to Tailwind and underscores. All right, first things first is the prereqs for this tutorial. Uh, you should know basic HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, maybe a little jQuery, uh, and some basic PHP and WordPress. The underscores theme is going to take care of a lot of the basic WordPress boilerplate for us. So we won't do a whole lot with actual WordPress. We're mostly going to be focusing on using Tailwind to style a theme. And some things that you don't need to know that we are going to cover in this tutorial is uh, CSS preprocessors. Uh, we're going to be using SAS. Uh, I'll be going over the details of um, how to use that versus basic CSS. Uh, we're going to be using Gulp to build our final style sheet that mixes the Tailwind utilities with our custom components and the underscores WordPress starter theme which we will cover what we get out of that right out of the box and how it helps us build a theme much quicker and we don't have to focus on all the uh, basic boilerplate stuff for the theme. All right, for your local development environment, uh, I'm not going to go over how to install these things. There's tons of tutorials online, but you need to have a MySQL database up and running, the WP command line interface. We'll be using that to uh, build our theme, uh, build out posts to use for testing, all kinds of cool things. NPM, we're going to be using Node Package Manager to pull in dependencies that we need, and whatever editor you choose. I prefer PHP Storm. You can use Atom, Sublime, VS Code. Uh, there's millions of them out there that are free. A couple websites to take a look at is uh, one is the underscores website. It's at underscores.me. Uh, this is our starter theme that we're going to use, and it's got a whole lot of information here about things that it already has set up for us. Uh, helpful 404 template. Uh, template tags, uh, lots of stuff already built for us to help us speed along our development. And Tailwind CSS, uh, tailwindcss.com. I encourage you to go and read through the documentation. This is a utility-based framework, uh, so we're going to be using these utilities to to style our, our site. And um, it's a really cool framework that allows us to quickly design in the browser without having to build a bunch of classes. And that is it for this quick introduction. Uh, if you want to skip on to the next video, and we will get started with the project setup.